All right, turning to the healthcare industry, Pfizer and BioNTech have started evaluating a combination COVID flu vaccine. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani joining us now with the details. And Anj, what can you tell us about this? Because it sounds like it would be much more convenient for everyone out there who needs to get vaccinated in the future. That's right. You won't need two arms. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Pfizer BioNTech announcing that they're just starting uh, the phase one, two clinical trials of their vaccine. BioNTech leading this and sponsoring that clinical trial. They are a little bit behind in the game. Novavax has already announced positive results from a phase one, two trial, but this is just adding to a, another COVID race, basically. Uh, we do know that uh, Moderna is also looking at this area with a, a candidate still in preclinical testing and development. So they're also a little bit behind there. But that really is the new frontier. The COVID vaccine companies are able to kind of, uh, you know, leverage what they've developed and add on to it uh, the flu, which we know if uh, all you know predictions come true and we do have to deal with this annually, that's going to be a pretty useful vaccine candidate. And Anjali, I understand that Quest Diagnostics is out with some good news now on virus testing. What's happening there? That's right. Speaking of combo flu and COVID, Quest has also announced now that they have a test for both that uh, patients can access at about 16,000 lo uh, 1,600 locations, sorry, uh, of their patient centers. And this, of course, helps with the turnaround for uh, testing both throughout the season. We know right now we're facing both of these uh, diseases at the same time, and then in the coming months, they expect that to go up. Their testing capacity for COVID has increased, and we just recently talked to outgoing Quest Diagnostics CEO uh, Steve Ruskowski about their capacity of 300,000 tests per day capacity. So uh, I'm sure that is going to play a role as well in how this all plays out. Indeed, and just in time for the winter months. Anjali Kemlani, thank you so much.